In this video, I'm going to give you four main characteristics of how development is going to be in the future, well, in the near future. And I'm also going to give you, as a bonus, five things to work on, five fundamental skill sets to work on in this new AI-driven development cycle. I guess we'll call it a cycle. So the first thing that's going to happen with development under AI, the AI change, is that it's going to be much more fun. It's going to be much more fun for several reasons. The top reason is because is going to be because you're you will be much more productive. When you are working with AI to write code, as people are already doing, their productivity is soaring. So they're getting things done in a fraction of time. As I mentioned in my previous video, I was talking to a startup founder, and they were able to build an app in three months, which normally would have took them a year to do. So it's going to be much more fun because as you're writing code, things are happening much more quickly. You're going to hit much less roadblocks. You know how it is. Any experienced developer will tell you that sometimes prior to AI or without, uh, without a co-programmer uh, beside you, you would be a co-pilot. You, uh, you would hit these roadblocks and then you're going to Stack Overflow and then Google and you're trying to figure things out. Now with AI, these answers has come to you so much more easily. Um, so it's just much more fun. When you see... It would be kind of like at the very end stages when you're writing software and things are all, all the things are starting to come together and the functionality is happening. It's, it's a lot of fun. So that's the first characteristic. I think coding is a good and development rather, I'll say, is going to be much more fun because of those things I just mentioned. In terms of your role, it's going to be a higher level role set because, not role set, a higher level role as a developer because a lot of the boilerplate coding that you have to do now prior to AI, that will be taken care of for you. Even a lot of boilerplate research, I would say, is going to be made super simple with AI. So for example, let's say you decided you're building a web app and it's a standard two column web app. It's got to be responsive, yada, yada. So then, you know, normally you have to go out there start writing the code, you, whether you use Bootstrap or you uh, do CSS Grid and Flexbox, and you start writing all this code, you get a template and you got to put it together and you got to tweak it, you know, it could be a pain. With the AI tools, and, and I'll throw in low code, no code solutions as well, it, it's just it's like bing, 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 it's done, right? So your role as a developer is much more like a manager. You're kind of coordinating, like instead of being the guy, if we're going to use an orchestra as an example. Instead of playing each of the instruments, you're the conductor and you say, okay, let's go here, you know, play some flute here, hit the drums, you know. So you're going to be much more of a coordinator of the different AI or the agents. And again, this will lead to, a, there's going to be a higher level engagement with the whole uh, tech stack. Now, some of you may be going, oh my God, I have seen this over and over again, where you see new layers come into play in the development environment, and we become more and more detached from what we had to do before. So for example, in the early days of web development, I was around at that time, um, I had, we all had to roll out our own authentication system. We all had to roll out our own MVC system if we were sophisticated enough. I would write out my own data layers. I'd write out my own UI uh, objects that would receive data sets from database queries, and it would generate tables or select boxes or whatever. We don't do that anymore. Forget about AI. We just don't do that now because we have sophisticated ORMs. We have MVC frameworks like ExpressJS, PHP Laravel, Python Django, Java Spring Boot, so we don't do that anymore. This is provided to us. This is an, an abstraction layer. So we don't have to write all that boilerplate code. I remember back in the uh, early mid nineties where we'd be writing, going from project A to B and oh, let's write another authentication routine here. And uh, we got to create a data layer now. Uh, we got to have validation routines. All these things are now taken care of for us by the web apps, by, excuse me, by the frameworks. React is another example. It takes care of a lot of the plumbing. We used to do this by hand, you know? So 
smart nerds are always building libraries and frameworks and other abstractions to just make life uh, much easier. Don't be too concerned about the fact that everything is becoming more at higher level in terms of being less and less engaged with some of the plumbing code. This has been going on for decades. So as a result of all that, development is going to be far faster. You're going to see projects rolling in and out at a far more accelerated rate, as I mentioned before. Things that may take a new year, you may get it done in a month. It's going to be much more fast paced. Uh, it's going to be much more fun. So I think as people transition into AI development, there will be some slowing down of hiring. There'll be some job losses maybe in some larger organizations because they're going to be readjusting uh, how they proceed and their workflows based on that. But I think once everything kind of settles, then you're going to see it ramping up again. All this means is that development is going to be far, fast, far faster. Products and software are going to be released far more quickly. The quality of software is going to improve as well. So this is all good. This is all good. So instead of waiting for a year for the next release, we'll get something in, in two months, right? That's fantastic. With every iteration in, uh, in anything, really, whether it be a piece of software, business, whatever, every iteration, it just, it just uh, gets better and better and better. So I think because of the AI revolution, because of the hyper productivity and the things we discussed, we're just going to have better software. So as I mentioned before, um, devs will basically play, to summarize, a higher level role in the software development process, more like a coordinator, more like a coordinator, which um, some people may not like that idea, but, you know, if you're, if you like getting hardcore into device driver uh, creation and uh, you enjoy fiddling around with code and debugging, maybe... This will be something you're not super a fan of, but uh, I think that for the vast majority of us, this is going to be a welcome relief. Again, because of the speed, because you're not going to have those frustrating bottlenecks, not nearly as much, development is going to be much more fun. So what skills do you need as a developer in the AI age? Uh, first thing, you got to have a good understanding of the fundamentals. So learn the fundamentals of coding. A software development. I always pick the web stack because it's the most flexible. I have a fundamentals course, complete web developer, take that. You learn your fundamentals. That's all you really need to get into the game. You see, prior to AI, and especially with AI, it's all about the fundamentals, and then you learn as you go. So number one, you have to have a good understanding, a good grasp of the fundamentals so you can communicate, you can prompt the AI, the models very intelligently uh, so the fundamentals include the fundamental languages. I teach the web stack. I like that HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. I teach a little PHP, Python, a little SQL, a little bit of databases. Um, you also have to know um, coding tech in general. You have to know what's available and how it applies. This will take a little bit more time for you to learn. So for example, there will be instances where you have a job where it might make sense to, to use PHP Laravel or it might make sense to use uh, Node.js with Express.js, or you might want to do something with React, or you may use want to use Vue, or you may want to go with just WordPress, or you may want to go with uh, something with Bootstrap and uh, something simple, you know, with anything except for Ruby. So it's just uh, having an understanding of the coding landscape, the various libraries, not to be a master, just understand where their use cases and AI can help you with that as well. But so that you can, when you approach a project or a project comes to you, you can make intelligent choices about how you're going to direct your AI uh, bots, all your agents, think of them as coworkers, how you're going to direct them to start building something. So that's the second thing you got to have. You have to have, you have to have an understanding of the technology landscape in terms of development. Number three, um, you have to know your AI models. There are many models out there, right? There's ChatGPT, there's Clode, there's Grok, and there's many others. Even within GPT, there's, you got 4.0, you got 0.1, you got 0.3, and you know maybe you're watching this, they're up, they're up to 0.5. So you have to know the models. Some are better at certain things, some are better at you know, other things. So you know the models, you know what, which ones to implement, how to best implement them. That's, that's just on a high level. 
and there's so much more. So you have to become an expert in the AI space, not becoming an AI model developer, but somebody who uses models to develop whatever you want to develop. So I, going back to number two, I'm talking about the coding tech. You have to also understand the low code and no code tools that are out there as well. Yeah, sometimes for simple project, just Wix might be fine. Or maybe you want to use, um, as I said, WordPress or Drupal, want to use that. And there are no code and low code tools that are kind of a blend between, you know, you have to code a little bit, but it takes care of a lot of the plumbing for you. So number four, you have to keep on top of the AI world in terms of what's being developed. It's a fast paced world. This reminds me of the web in 1993, 94, 95, 96, 97. It moved very quickly. And AI is at that accelerating stage now where things are moving quickly. So you just got to be on top of that. It's not a lot of work, but again, think of yourself as an expert in this area all the things we're talking about. And uh, so when your boss comes to you or a prospective client comes to you, or maybe you just want to start a SaaS product, you understand, okay, oh, this AI here is going to help me with this. And this AI here will help me with that. And we'll combine that with this low code platform here. And then for the blog, we'll just throw up a WordPress site, you know, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea of how you're more of a, you're managing an orchestra as a developer. And the final skill set, skill set number five is just having good communication skills. Being able, and this is nothing new, by the way. All these things are not new. It's just a rejiggering of things. So you're rearranging, uh, uh, putting more weight on certain things over others. Being a good communicator is always super important. And the good communicators who are also developers always make a ton of money. Yeah, so having great communication skills is, uh, is going to be an asset big time, big time. So to review, the skill sets for modern developer in the AI world, know your fundamentals as well, know the, uh, the tech, the coding tech, if you are, or the development tech you have in, in front of you, in terms of languages and libraries, React versus Vue versus Angular, uh, Bootstrap, uh, low code, no to code solutions, blogs, uh, vlogging platforms, not vlogging, blogging platform, uh, CMSs like WordPress. Number three, know the AI models that are out there. Keep on top of the AI world, what's going on, how people might be integrating AI into developing development environments or how platforms, hosting platforms might be implementing AI tools to make it easier and so on. And number five, get those communication skills tipped up. All right, I hope that helps. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in uh, everything code and development related and entrepreneur related as well. I've been doing that uh, even longer, believe it or not. You can check me out at UncleSteph.com, UncleSteph.com. If you have any disagreements about what I covered here, feel free to comment below. If you like what I talk about here, comment below. Um, I'm on the AI. I'm talking about AI a lot because it's really jumping now. And uh, But again, don't confuse me talking about emphasis on AI tools as saying that you don't need to know how to code. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you just have to no different aspects of it. So you may find, for example, there are a lot of React jobs out there, but um, people who are doing React are doing it successfully using AI models that work well with React, as an example. All right, that's it. Cheers. Cheers.